Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Our winter-like pattern continues, though at least our temperature this morning was pretty seasonable at 35, but our high of 43, second day in a row, 13 degrees below normal, and both our highs and lows will be on the way down over the next few days. But generally in the low to mid-40s today, with that sunshine that came out late morning through the early afternoon, Fairfield was a little bit colder at the 39-degree mark, and tomorrow will be a little colder, and then even more so as we head into and through the weekend. We had scattered flurries come through mid to late afternoon, kind of overachieving based on what the guidance was saying yesterday, but they didn't cause any issues. But some flakes were flying around. All quiet right now. Could see a few more flurries tomorrow night as the next cold front comes through, as if we need another one. That's on tap for our Thursday night. Well, skies cleared in Evansville by about 9, 10 o'clock this morning. Enjoyed a good deal of sunshine for a while. You can see it here in our Superior Ag Tower Camera time lapse. And then the clouds and gusty winds and scattered flurries came in this afternoon with skies clearing out to slowly here as we head through the evening hours. But we're kind of on the edge of the cloud cover right now in the Evansville area and the temperature still at 32. Winds fortunately are letting up. It was a pretty windy afternoon. Northwest breeze now at 7 miles per hour. You can see the computer trying to analyze where the freezing line is. Basically much of the area low 20s though so it has slipped down to 28 in Owensboro. We should all wind up in the mid-20s by daybreak tomorrow morning. And compared to last night at this time, we're running about 5 to 11 degrees colder. So the nights will be getting colder, not only tonight, but especially as we head through the weekend. You can see the southern edge of the cloud deck just south of the Ohio River as the upper level energy that brought us the flurries now moving into the upper Ohio Valley. The big story over the next few days will not be a big storm system. It's going to be all this cold air pouring over the open waters of the Great Lakes producing what we call lake effect snow. That uh, moisture basically evaporates up into the clouds, forms heavy snow bands, and then dumps it as it pushes on shore. And we're expecting three to maybe four feet of snow in the snow belts of western New York from Buffalo down to Erie, Pennsylvania. And that's between now and Sunday morning. You're going to be hearing a lot about that. And even some heavy lake effect snow in western Michigan into northern Indiana. We rarely get lake effect here. Sometimes if we have a, a wind coming out of due north, coming right down Lake Michigan, we'll get a few spotty flurries or snow showers, but nothing in terms of the heavy snow they get much closer to the Great Lakes as we head into the cold uh, season, something we don't have to deal with down here. But you can see the clouds still kind of pinwheeling around here and the these are going to gradually pull away as we head through the overnight hours. But clouds at night, when it's cold, are good. They kind of act as a blanket. But Future Tracker shows them clearing. Should be a partly cloudy sky tomorrow. Probably a little more sun than we had today. A little less wind. Temperatures, though, a little bit colder. Topping out upper 30s to low 40s across the area. Should be about 40 to 41 here in the metro. Next cold front comes through tomorrow night. Possibility of a few flurries. And then we start in the low to mid-20s Friday morning. And again, to Despite a good deal of sunshine on Friday, highs will be even colder. Very cold, windy high in the mid to upper 30s. And that could set us up for frigid conditions for the high school playoff games on home team Friday uh, during the evening hours as temperatures fall into the 20s as the games progress. And there will be a wind chill on top of that. Nothing falling from the sky, but you're going to have to bundle up Friday night if you're heading to a football game. By daybreak Saturday, if you're out early, upper teens will be a great looking weekend. Lots of sun sunshine, but a windy, uh, cold high in the upper 30s on Saturday afternoon and even colder on Sunday. So clearing out overnight, very cold lows in the mid-20s, then partly cloudy, breezy, and chilly tomorrow. Temperatures generally around 40 degrees, and then a few flurries possible tomorrow night. Partly cloudy, windy, and very cold Friday, 35. We're down to 18 Saturday morning. Sunshine both days, but a windy 39 on Saturday. We start Sunday at 17, a high of only 36. Sunday, but less wind. And then finally, temperatures begin to warm early next week. Back to normal Tuesday afternoon with highs in the mid-50s. And they'll stay there as we head into the Thanksgiving holiday as scattered rain showers finally return later Wednesday into Thanksgiving Day.